Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you all about how traveler's notebooks work. I have been using a traveler's notebook as my main planner for about four months now, and I absolutely love it. The size of it fits in my purse. I could put everything in one book, so I'm not looking for all sorts of different things in different books. I just love that it's kind of an all-in-one. Now this particular one is not one that I am using now, which is why I'm showing it to you. This is uh, Webster's Pages Traveler's Notebook in the mint color, and honestly it's just, I just don't like the color as much as I like the color I have now, which is why I am not using this one. I do use this for uh, the books that I'm about to use, so like my empty notebooks. So I still do have this on my shelf, and this is in the standard size. Traveler's notebooks come in all different sizes. There's pocket, micro, and I'm, we're talking like this big. Uh, there's personal size, there's A5 size, there's A6, there's B6, there's all these different sizes, and I just prefer the standard size. It's I like how tall it is. It's, it's wide enough for me to keep everything that I need in it. But all traveler's notebooks, as far as I know, have some sort of an elastic around them to keep them closed and they just come off like that. Some traveler's notebooks have this thing in the back. Again, same concept. But the thing that says traveler's notebooks apart from other types of just regular journals is the ability to hold multiple books in it. And I'm gonna open it up and show you. And by the way, I will link up here my latest traveler's notebook video where I showed you a walkthrough. And I have another video coming on Friday about how to decorate your notebooks just to make them prettier if you want to. But I'm gonna open this up and as you can see, I have, let's see, I have this, I have two of these little pocket things in here and I have one notebook and this these two zippers are the other side of these. So I have one notebook, two notebooks, oop, that was just stuck in there, <laughs> three notebooks, four notebooks in here. And you know, you can set this up however you want. You can have a different notebook for different things. There are no rules here. This particular traveler's notebook has a secretarial pocket and these other pockets and some pretty dots on the inside. And I'm just gonna take this apart and show you how to put books in. Now this is what the inside of a traveler's notebook looks like. Some of them just have two elastics on the inside. This kind has four elastics on the inside. And I like this because you can put so many books in here if you want to. But it's really simple how these work. I'm just gonna take this notebook. This is actually uh, a notebook that I don't use anymore. It was my, this was my YouTube planner for a while. This is actually the second notebook that I bought. I went through the first one. This is from Paper Penguin Co. and I decorated it with some scrapbook paper and I don't like this system. I'll show you on Friday how I prefer to decorate. But I just open to the middle. You can open any page, but I'm just going to open to the middle. I'm going to take one of these elastics and just stick it through. Okay. Now I'm going to take this notebook and this was my YouTube planner for a while, probably about a year, <laughs> and I'm going to stick it open to the middle, stick it through this elastic. I'm going to take this one. This actually came, this is a Webster's Pages uh, notebook. This is kind of like a thin craft paper. I do use this kind of a book in my planner right now. I'm going to open that to the middle, stick it in there like that, and then this one I bought these, it came in a pack of three and I only use one in my current planner, so I may sell these or keep them, I don't know. But I just put them together like this and stick this other, this is another traveler's notebook from, uh, blah, 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 or a notebook from Webster's Pages, sorry. I'm having a hard time thinking. And I'm just gonna open that to the middle and put this through the fourth elastic. As you can see, you know, you've got, it's pretty stuffed. I mean, it's it's got a lot in here, but you can actually put 
I don't know what Webster's Pages says, but you could actually put up to eight books in this and you're like, what? Well, let me show you how. I'm just going to take this little book right here and this is my monthly planner that I haven't started yet because it doesn't start until April from the 1407 planners. I can link their information below. And the key is to get an extra elastic. And this is just a plain piece of elastic that's tied in a knot. Actually, the girl who had this uh, put a ball on the top. But it's basically just an elastic that I put around this book. And let's say I want to jo join these two books together. So I'm going to take out this one right here. And I'm going to show you how to get two books on this one elastic. I'm going to take this book and open it to the middle. And I'm going to take this book and open it to the middle. I'm going to take this elastic. I'm going to put these two books like this and put the elastic around. This is a really tight elastic. <laughs> and so these two books are now attached to each other and I can send both of them through this elastic. So now I have five books inside. And you could technically do that with all four of the elastics in here to get all of these books. So yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? You can make this whatever you want. Some people use this as a planner. Some people use this as a journal. Some people use this for, gosh, anything. I mean, it doesn't really matter. There aren't really any rules when it comes to this. I still have two other books. And if I wanted to, I could put these in as well. This right here is just a plain notebook from Michael's, their recollections line when they had like a pseudo traveler's notebook. And this one is also from Webster's Pages. It's a dot grid. I'm sorry, not dot grid, a grid notebook. By the way, Webster's Pages makes really, really, really nice notebooks to go in their traveler's notebooks. And the, it's, it, the outer cover here is almost a vinyl. I don't know if you can hear that. It's thicker than cardstock. I'm not gonna try to rip it, but it would probably be hard to do so. And the paper is just really, really nice. I like it. So I've gotten some traveler's notebooks inserts from Webster's Pages. I've gotten some from, let's see, like I said, this is from 1407 Planners and their paper quality is amazing. I will probably be buying from them from here on out. Uh, this one's from Webster's Pages. This one is from the Paper Penguin Co. The only reason why I haven't ordered more from her is that she has more like decorative spreads and I like everything just kind of plain Jane so that I can decorate. So I hope that you liked this video today. I hope it was helpful for you if you are considering getting a traveler's notebook. Maybe this makes it easier to realize how they work exactly and be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like this video and of course subscribe down below. <laughs> down here. If you would like to see all my videos, stay tuned for Friday when I will have a video up on how to decorate your traveler's notebooks inserts so that they don't look dull and boring in your book. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye!